Today we're going to be doing some more upgrades on Simon's Caravan. Um, today we're going to be doing batteries. The different ones on the market that we got is your calcium type batteries, you've got your lithium batteries and your AGM batteries. So we'll just go through different charging systems for them and how long they last and what the advantage is about the, uh, the different types of batteries. The calcium batteries, which are used uh, quite commonly in the industry, a lot of manufacturers uh, fit them up as OE supply. Uh, great, great product, but there are a lot of other batteries on the market which are uh, a lot better and have a lot better of, uh, charging rates and, and, and better conditions. Probably the uh, calcium battery is the most that you have to sort of um, be on top of the charging side of it and, and sort of throw the most power at it and, and sort of keep, keep the charge up to them over yeah, AGM um, type of batteries. That, that's correct. The uh, calcium batteries uh, do require a lot more maintenance in the application. But the problem is, is most charging conditions will take up to 20 to 22 hours worth of charging versus other batteries which can take from anywhere from 4 to 6 or uh, 6 to 8 depending on the, uh, the battery. The calcium battery is a very old design and a lot of people are now sort of choosing the AGM battery. The AGM style was exhaust glass mat, it's been around for a very long time. Uh, in caravans, it still also has uh, a lot of negatives where the charging is also up to anywhere from uh, 16 to 18 hours or 18 to 22 hours, uh, which is still a problem. So Mark, with the uh, calcium to the AGM, um, the other advantage with your calcium, they do vent. They can't go internally in a, in a caravan or a cabin of a vehicle in a dual battery system, but your AGM um, is a sealed battery um, that can do that, isn't it? That's correct. So the calcium batteries were found if they're placed under a bed and there is a, a, a charging problem or uh, some sort of issue, what the batteries will do is they'll gas excessively and the gas is very toxic and it can put yourself into a very dangerous position. So a lot of people are leaning away from this product because of the the, the um, uh, problems that have been seen in the industry. With this particular uh, AGM battery, uh, they will gas very, very minor, but um, due to the fact that they're, they're in a position where they can um, uh, bloat up for incorrect charging, they're better off kept out of the actual cab as well. Mark, with the, uh, the lithium now, um, which is quite new on the market, but everyone's sort of going um, to more the lithium over your calcium and the AGM. So what, what is now the advantage of, of going lithium in your, in your caravan or motorhome? Okay, so the, the biggest advantage for the lithium is the cycle life. So the cycle life versus your AGM. So the AGM cycle life will be anywhere from say 80 cycles to 300 cycles, depending on load currents and application. But what most people are finding the average life in cycles is 240 cycles. With the lithium, depending on quality of the product and the manufacturer, they're ranging from 1500 cycles up to 4000 cycles. So what you'll find with uh, lithium batteries is there is a grading factor on batteries. There's an A, a grading, an A minus, a B, a B minus and a C grade. These lithium batteries are in the A grade, which are uh, new quality and of perfect condition when they've been manufactured. So the A quality is what you would pay for a medium range lithium battery. Uh, and we would class these in the medium range in the price factor. A grade minus, uh, you'll, you'll quite commonly see those in the market where they will have a cheaper style lithium battery and they won't perform as well because the cycles will be displayed a lot lower than 4,000 cycles. You're probably looking around about the 2,000 cycles. So Mark, with the, um, the advantages of, of the lithium over your AGM and calcium, I'm, I, I find with customers now going for the lithium is obviously because of the weight um, being that the batteries are generally up the front of the van or, or under the bed. So going from 26 kilos to a 16 kilo battery, obviously that's a, a, big, a real big advantage um, with, the, with the lithium but also the actual capacity or how you can take a, a, a lithium battery to a lower a voltage um, or capacity than your AGM and calcium. So how does, how does that sort of go? Okay, so you're correct on the weight side. So with the um, calcium, calcium and the AGM, you're looking around anywhere from 24 to 28 kilo, depending on which style and which brand, 
versus a 13 kilo battery. So putting a 13 kilo battery in the caravan will put you in a better weight position overall and it will certainly, um, uh, it, it's, it's also very beneficial for the overall weight. As far as um, discharging and, and versus in the cycling side, the um, AGMs will discharge around about approximately 240 cycles in a caravan, depending on load currents, charging, um, and application. One AGM battery in Simon's van here, let's say that, you know, if you had all your lights on and stuff, you could run the whole van, so say it looks like five hours, but with the same 100 amp in the lithium, you could run it a lot longer than that, so you could probably go like maybe 10 or 12 hours on a, on a lithium battery, being at the, the capacity, how you can actually take the, um, the voltage lower on the uh, lithium battery. Yes, of course. So what you'll find is you've got a, a, a really good usable power in the AGM of about 30 to 60 percent, where versus the lithium you can discharge them right down to 100 percent, gaining your 100 percent capacity of the battery. In the industry what you'll find is, is some manufacturers will have the quality of A, B, C grade batteries. And we're talking prices is basically it, isn't it? Well, it's, it's price versus where it's set within the industry of, uh, and what people buy. So what you'll find is, is depending on the grade, is depending on the quality and the pricing where it sits. The batteries you'll find mostly on the internet will be in the range of B- and C grade batteries. The C grade batteries are recycled batteries that have been out of cars. Ar around the world what they'll do is they'll recycle the batteries and they'll pull all the good cells out and manufacture them into a brand new battery here in Australia. And a lot of those batteries are coming in through uh, cheaper suppliers or personal uh, people sitting at home on the internet bringing in small volumes of batteries. So those type of batteries will have a cycle life of around a thousand to fifteen hundred and sometimes up to two thousand cycles but they are second-hand cells. What you'll find with B-grade cells is they are uh, cells which are been manufactured but they haven't come up to spec. So when they're uh, manufactured they test them and they do batch testing and they'll they'll put the cells into a brand new battery but they haven't actually performed to hundred percent capacity. Okay, so yep. they are very commonly seen in the cheaper end of the market where our uh, platinum range is sitting in, I would say, the upper mid-range of pricing versus product. And the cycle life in our platinum range is 4,000 cycles in, in this particular size. And these ones here um, uh, are A-grade cells. The A-grade the cells also with the design of the battery has a three-point temperature compensating charging in, inside, where a lot of the cheaper batteries will only have uh, one temperature compensator, so you've got to be careful. On yeah, because I find that quite a bit, um, you know, when I am quoting jobs up um, for lithium these days, and we obviously use your batteries, which are A grade, and, and sort of not knowing um, this, being that, um, you know, quote a job up sometimes, oh, I can, you know, get it cheaper online, or I've, I've seen it cheaper elsewhere, um, not the same product, totally different product, but that obviously answers why, um, you know, you've got the, the, the top end of the market, which is, you know, is at a price and then you've got there is cheaper ones out there but obviously there is a reason like anything why it is cheaper and as Mark just explained it is, is the quality of the battery and, and your cheaper ones are a second hand um, cell that they use in, 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 the, in it so that's why it is so you know you've got to weigh up you know like you know not apples for apples all the time and, and pricing being cheap is always not the way to go. So you're looking at putting some new batteries in the caravan? Simon at the moment has two calcium batteries um, which came standard in his van so we're going to upgrade them and put um, two of the uh, the 100 amp uh, lithium batteries in his van so the next thing obviously with with just doing a swap like that is is charging systems so as far as your 240 volt charging and solar with um, Simon's van, it's got the Red Arc Manager 30 system in it. So obviously for us to take out and swap and as far as the charging side of, uh, for his van, it's just which we'll go through um, once we fitted him, is just changing the program um, on the, uh, the Red Arc system uh, to charge him. But obviously if um, there is other motorhomes or caravans p uh, people have, as far as charging, um, you know, if it's, if it's got a calcium battery or an AGM battery and it's set up for that, can with these batteries, can you, um, does you have to use a Pacific LiPo um, charging bat uh, system and it, as 
the regulator because once again going back to online there's a lot of people saying they do an a, a lithium battery and it doesn't matter what charging system or solar system you, it can just just swap strop, swap straight over but i always believe um, with with most of them on the market it, you, the battery does need a pacific charger so you've got a calcium charger that it needs to be able to do calcium or an agm because it is different charging rates it is different voltages that that charges out so the same with the lithium so what so what you'll find is is on the calcium calcium maintenance free you'll have a um, specific algorithm or charging setting suited for this particular type of battery. The AGM also has a uh, particular al algorithm designed specifically for AGM batteries which is, which is normally at a lower rate than the calcium calcium maintenance free. With the lithiums, yes you should have a lithium setting uh, on your charger and set to lithium because what you'll find is, is the computer program inside of the battery will accept most irregular charging currents um, from multiple different types of chargers. The problem is, is when you put in a multi-stage charger, which most of the chargers are today, the uh, computer will deal with the majority of it, but it will fall into a category of it won't charge it properly. And in some cases we've found the computer boards in the battery will actually fail because of the incorrect chargers. Yeah, so that's there. So you've got to use the correct charger um, for the correct battery, which, um, yeah, because the, the, the lithium batteries have a, a BMS um, system in them, which is for the charging and, and discharging of it. But yeah, you still have to use a correct charger um, for it, like it, like anything. If you don't, well, then it can damage or shorten the life of that battery if, if you don't. That's correct. And with the computer that's inside the battery, what you'll find is, is uh, if they are of a cheaper product, they will heat up in a poor quality charging environment where with these particular batteries we use a very large uh, cooling board for the uh, temperature inside the battery so they will cope with uh, some ir irregular charging applications or charges but certainly the, for best life, best quality you must have the lithium setting. So the other um, thing, Mark, that I find a lot is uh, the caravanners are away. Um, this, you know, it's, there's been no solar. They've, they've used their inverter and whatnot, and, they've, and the battery's gone completely flat. Um, so the BMS um, system has cut, cut out on it, so the, the, the customer now has no voltage at all in the van because the battery's gone to, to how low you can take it. The battery's gone, that, that's enough, and is now cut out, so there's no voltage. So as far as recharging them, um, when they do cut out like that, um, what, what is the best way to, to do it? Okay, so what you'll find is the battery will cut out, uh, which is triggering a self mechanism inside the battery to protect the actual cells themselves and the life of the battery. So when they do cut out, it's, it's, it is a good thing because something is wrong, whether it's been, something's been left on or they've been overused or excessively used or there is a charging problem, whether it's through the solar or through the charger itself. So what you'll find is the battery will completely drop out or drop off, as they would say in the lithium side, and it's actually requiring a, a, a time where it needs to be re-triggered. So we need to give the battery 12 volts again, or you can actually trigger them at about six and a half to seven to eight volts, but you're better off just putting another 12 volt battery straight across the top of the terminal to re-trigger it, which will put it into uh, reactivation mode so you can recharge it and recover it. There is another method you can use also is if your uh, battery charger has a uh, power supply mode, you can put the charger on power supply for a couple of seconds, which will then trigger the battery back into, to, to engage it back into life. So then you can recharge it. Again. Yep, so yeah, so basically by either hooking another battery up to it or putting a power supply, it's just turning it back on basically, right. um, which is the only way you can do it um, because um, prior to that, when it does cut out, there is no voltage actually across the post here at all. There's no voltage. So the charger actually thinks that there's nothing there um, or your solar or anything thinks there's nothing there because there is no voltage. So only what is basically a you know, parallel, a, a 12 volt battery of any sort up to it, which will then turn it back on or you could put the, the charger, if you, your charger in your van has power supply mode, well then obviously you can turn it onto power supply mode for 30 seconds or so, which then will turn it back on and then once it's done that, turn it back to charging um, on the charger and, and let it go and away we'll go. Well, thanks for your time, Mark, going through the different batteries. So now we're gonna fit the two lithium batteries into Simon's van. 
So I've got the battery sitting here ready. So on Simon's van, his are on the actual side of the chassis rail in, in the battery box. So yeah, I'll start fitting the, uh, the batteries, taking the calcium uh, batteries out and putting them in. Okay, so the batteries are all installed. The 100 amp lithium battery is all installed in the van. So now we're going to set the red arc to suit the lithium batteries. Because we've disconnected the batteries, we will have to set the date, time, etc. anyway. So now we're going to change the red arc system because it's set to calcium, uh, to lithium. So to do so, you hold the up and down arrow keys on the screen. Now it goes to battery type. And now we'll change it. So down the bottom to lithium. 200 amp hour, so we haven't changed the uh, capacity, so that still stays the same. Old new, and then we'll confirm. Okay, so now it's been changed to lithium. Um, the system's all good and all ready to go.